Yeah, welcome back to DX of B today. Um, hope you've eaten. Hope you've had your din dins. Uh, because this has been one of those episodes that has just got the old taste buds <laughs> going overdrive. Uh, why? Because we're talking about the Dubai food landscape. Uh, yeah, we've got the Dubai Food Festival ongoing at the moment. That's just one of a number of festivals. In fact, year long, uh, there is a festival of food here. And it's thanks in no small part to our guests here today. We've got Chef BB alongside us here as well, Vinit Batya. And we've got Chef uh, JKP alongside us as well, a winning, uh, an award-winning chef and podcaster elevating the culinary space through globe, through his global expertise and elevated flavours. Background uh, in establishing well, some of the finest uh, hotels in the region, but also some of the finest dining opportunities and experiences as well. It is a warm welcome to James Knight Pacheco. Uh, it is Chef JKP. Good to have you back on board. Pleasure. Pleasure to be here. <laughs> thanks, it's, for, thanks for it's, being here. It's rather fitting, isn't it, that we've got two men who, you know, didn't didn't, didn't go out of their way, didn't, didn't set out to become ambassadors for the Dubai landscape, but have become and in, are in way, yes, ambassadors yeah. for Dubai landscape. And again, I suppose the same question I put uh, Vinit a little earlier on goes to you, is the why Dubai question, because a man that has, you know, appeared on media the world over, has cooked the world over as well. What was it about this, this city where all the years ago when you moved here, there wasn't that foodie culture, mm. etc. It wasn't a foodie landscape. So why Dubai? Well, I think it's just such a phenomenal place and we're talking about the vision. So. When I first came here, um, there was, as you said, there was no Michelin, no 50 best. And I actually did a seminar on it in 2013 at the Ritz Carlton talking about why Michelin should be here. Mm. And I saw the foresight as to, back then there were lots of huge sort of restaurants, but I loved the fact that we wanted some homegrown. And then the fact that it started to come in, I think is absolutely incredible, really. Yeah. And, um, and that's why we do the podcast, really. It's because my job, essentially, is to showcase the culinary capital of the Middle East, which is Dubai. And that's exactly what we do. We tell everyone how incredible it is. Of course, we talk about the ups and downs, but we really talk about the vast landscape within ha Dubai. Has the global opinion changed? Because again, this is one that I always like to crack, because I remember, what, 25 years that I've been here and known Benit for 20 of those, etc. But it, 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 back in the day, and I, in fact, to not quite until quite recently, you know, you go back to London, you say, yeah. oh, I live in Dubai, and they go, oh, right, they've got any restaurants there or whatever. They, oh, there's, no, there's, no, there's no Michelin there, so it, it can't be anything, etc. cetera. Have, has, has the global opinion changed about the food landscape here? Well, 200%. Um, I'll tell you a sort of example. In 2017, I went to Oslo to work at a three-star Michelin restaurant there. And some of the chefs were saying, what are you doing in Dubai? Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, yeah. But now, I was just saying to, to Vinit earlier on, you have the younger chefs all coming here to learn from different Michelin-starred chefs, restaurants, the food scene, uh, as well as sort of the street food, which is quite incredible here. So it has changed. And then you look at all the partnerships that are happening within all of the restaurants. All of the global and the very best chefs in the world are coming here to partner up with our homegrown heroes. So it has changed incredibly. I mean, that, that is so true because you ask any chef in the Western world, they all want to have a restaurant here or want to come and go. Each time I go back, I get asked, what's new happening in Dubai? Mm. And for me, that's a great showcase. Mm. But what has the change you have seen with the local uh, grown brand as such how has that really ballooned up? Um, well, it has massively ballooned up. I mean, I think, uh, I'll go back to my original point. Having larger restaurants previously, mm. now we have those homegrown, and even our homegrown chefs, and I can probably tell you about 10, so I'm not gonna bore you, they're now going international. Yeah. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> we have the 50 best, and then if we talk, talk about Trescent, it's a two-star Michelin restaurant mm. in the global list. It's number 11 at the moment. Um, we believe it's gonna go even further. Uh, and I recently spoke on, on another show that I believe that in the future, we will have a three-star Michelin restaurant, which will be a huge success for the region. Mm. And we will have the number one best restaurant in the world. Ooh. I, mean, I can, I can see shout, it. Big oh. shout. I can see it. I mean, if you look at it, you know, the first Emirati restaurant to get a Michelin star, Earth in Abu Dhabi. I mean, that yeah. is a showcase. Yeah. You know, you have to be proud of the land. So when we compose menus, for example, there's always a nod towards the local culture mm. and the local produce. You've got to respect what it is. Yeah, exactly. And it's so nice to see something which is Emirati being now showcased in the finest world. And if you look at the culture, how they eat, the way they want to eat, 
the sensibility is very very important for our chef to understand mm. and the young generations you know we find a lot of emirati young chefs now coming on board yeah. look at moonrise mm. one star michelin mm. tasting yes. menu Incredible. you could have never thought of that 10 years back yeah. it is right here and this is just the stepping stone for greater things to come here in Dubai. We're not mucking around anymore in the UAE, are we? No. Um, James, coming back to you, you mentioned your podcast earlier, which congratulations, it's, it's such a great success. Um, you This year, you've actually partnered up with Dubai Food Festival. Yes, Tell absolutely. us about that. Yeah, um, so it was uh, incredible to, to be there. I'm actually, I was actually at the beach canteen. So um, I spoke to around 10 different vendors to, to sort of have their stories, what their food is about, uh, some memories, some quick fire questions, but actually it was amazing to see so many people there, so many new concepts and it's actually a, a training ground if you like. So if, if it works there, mm. then they go on to bricks and mortar for example. So and there's some amazing concepts. I highly recommend you go and check it out. Mm. Jim, in terms of uh, food styles and food concepts, where do you think the food in Dubai is now heading into? We've done like tasting menus, we've done the fine dinings. Where next? Well, look, for me, the thing that I always say is you have modern Japanese, modern Spanish, modern British, so on and so forth. Why can we not have modern Emirati cuisine? Mm -hmm. Because as you quite rightly said, there are so many chefs, Emirati chefs that are really coming up. For example, uh, Sahar, who was the best pastry chef in the inaugural 50 Best. It was amazing to have her and, you know, she's doing incredible things and is about to actually open a brand new re restaurant, an Emirati restaurant, which is quite exciting. But yes, I think there's so much scope for Emirati cuisine here for people to, they, they understand the core, but I believe we now have the talent to have a modern Emirati restaurant. As long as we don't go virtual, all right? I don't want to go virtual. For no, okay? <laughs> not virtual. Keep it physical. You right. you're, you're not into an AI? Me oh, no, you can keep that. You can keep that at the moment. You want to taste it, right? <laughs> now, of course, with this kind of topic when it comes to food, we could go on and on all night. However, Chef, I'm afraid we're going to have to cut this short, but thank you so very much for joining us today. Absolute pleasure to be here. Thank you so much. Now, I'm going to turn the camera on to Katie because I know you've got a 60 second quiz to do with Chef Vinny. Absolutely. Oh now, gosh. Chef Vinny is no stranger to the DXV in 60, I'm sure. Um, so 60 seconds. We want to learn as much about you as possible. Quick okay. fire questions. Are you ready? Do we have a I don't choice? Know I'm, I don't know why I'm making it so dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, they're all about you. So hopefully you okay. know the answers. We're going to have the uh, 30 seconds. That defeats the object. 60 seconds starting in three, two, one. One, if you weren't a chef, what would you be? A pilot. Oh, nice, okay. What is your motto in life and in work? Well, you've got to be sincere, you've got to be honest and extremely passionate of what you do. Very nice. And rest all falls into place. Absolutely. Um, what's a superpower you wish you had? To read your mind. To read, <laughs> specifically your mind, mine? Your oh, mind. okay. Read people's mind. Slightly terrifying. What was your first job? My first job was as a waiter, uh, opening bottles of water. Perfect. What is your favourite favourite? What is your favourite ingredient to cook with? Oh, it has to be curry leaves. Oh, they are very aromatic and full of flavour and perfume. Perfect. Now, without choosing one of your own restaurants, what is your go-to eatery in Dubai? What I really love, uh, I do like three fills, oh. and I also like wood fire. Perfect. What's your favourite comfort food for you? <sighs> a big bowl of dal and a piece of roti, a flatbread. <laughs> We've got to stop talking about food. Um, a chef that you would like to switch lives with? Oh, it has to be Nobu. Oh, perfect. Right, final question. Why Dubai? Why not Dubai? Okay, that's a good, that's a really good answer, actually. I mean, it's the place to be. Yeah. Uh, everybody wants to be here. I think we were very lucky to be here on the founding days of the culinary scene. And I think uh, very fortunate to see the changes happening and to now see it grow and really shine and outshine in the uh, entire world. Well, I tell you what, we are fortunate to have you, right, Tom? Aren't we just? Yeah. Uh, the good news, I don't have to memorise names here with these two <laughs> legends alongside me. Because all I have to say is, hey, thank you, Chef, pleasure. for guest, guest co-hosting with us today. My pleasure. Thank you, Chef, <laughs> for coming on board and being a part of the show today. So to our two chefs uh, to help make the Dubai landscape uh, what it is today. We thank them both. We are not going anywhere, though. Do stay with us. Bella is waiting to play us out with the sweet melody in just a few moments' time. Stay with us here on DXP Today. <laughs>